HTTP triggers, they allow you to, to control the device using your web browser. And this is how you use them with SPI matrix or Let's Trip Studio Ethernet controller number three. So this is the basic uh, way how to use uh, how to use the HTTP commands, and I will show you how in the real web browser. I'm using Edge, but it doesn't matter what kind of web browser you use. Probably most of you are used to use uh, Chrome or Firefox, but you can use also iPhone with Safari or whatever Raspberry Pi, for example. So. As I have showed you in the presentation, what, what, uh, how to use the HTTP triggers is to use the first part of the, of the IP address is the IP address of the controller you want to control. And then you use the set autoplay HTML. So let's try to type it in, in the address. Okay, I have it here already. So I just press enter and as you can see uh, you are able to see the web page where you have uh, all the available commands which you can use uh, with this uh, set autoplay html so let's try to use some of them let's try to set the animation And we will start animation number one. Michael, can you please switch the camera to the top? So I have here three, uh, three LED strips connected to, to the controller. And via the web configuration, I'm able to switch the animations. So now I'm playing animation number two or number three. Or number three. So basically the animations they are stored inside the device on the SD card and via the web browser I'm able to switch between them. So the animation that's only one command. What, what I can do I can also if you check this command here I can set brightness. So let's try it. I will set brightness to maximum which is 255. And if uh, Michael will switch to the top camera, you, you can see the brightness is, low, is uh, higher. I will lower it to, let's say, 10%. And as you can see, you, you almost can't see. I will increase it a little bit so we can see the brightness is a little bit lower. Please keep the camera. And now, again, we switch to maximum. Of course, this is um, not so practical, I mean, uh, to use the computer and web browser, but uh, the real power of the HTTP commands uh, comes with, for example, uh, telephone with, with uh, mobile. So I have here my iPhone and as you can see, I'm, try I'm able to switch between the animations using the iPhone. So. Uh, if you are more advanced users, you can, for example, use the shortcuts and create your own commands, which will switch the different animations or, for example, control the brightness of the, of the running animation. And uh, what we also like uh, is to use this uh, feature with some external devices uh, used for smart home. And uh, I have here uh, Shelly. It's a very nice uh, platform which you, uh, they provide different kind of uh, solutions for smart home. And uh, this is the switch which I can use again to, to change the animation. So with this button, I can set the next animation or I can go back to previous one, next one, previous one. So these two buttons, the way they are programmed, they, you, they send the HTTP commands back to our LED, con LED controller number three. 
And I have here also different function. These two buttons, they allow me to control the brightness. So maybe it's not that good visible on the camera, but I'm able to lower the brightness. Ah, maybe not. Yes, I'm lowering the brightness. So the nice thing is, with these Shelly buttons, you can assign almost any kind of function of the LED controller number three and uh, change it using the buttons. It's uh, again very practical for smart home applications. Uh, if you can switch uh, Michael please back to, I recommend you to check their web page, which is, uh, should be this one. Yes, this Shelly. They have different ki the kind of products which you can use uh, in the smart home applications. And uh, we really like what they do. These, these buttons, uh, which you can install into uh, into wall, it's, they are great for, uh, for using with uh, pixel-led strip animations or installations. So this, those are HTTP commands. They are perfect uh, if you are using the controllers without the computer. So if your installation needs just to switch some animations and set the brightness, HTTP commands, they are perfect. And uh, they are perfect even if you use some smart home applications like Shelly or Apple Home or any kind of Homey, I think they are quite uh, famous. So it's a very nice feature.